welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. What is enlightenment? Okay, I am not going to sit in front of you and say, hey guys, I have done it. This is how it rolls. <laughs> no, rather I want to talk about how it came to be or always has been the most important thing in my life. From when I was little, I always thought it was so strange to be called by my name, Julia. It just felt untrue. And the same with where I am born and my story, so to speak. It felt like I was playing a role. It isn't really who I am. And I think this is one of the aspects that comes with the journey towards enlightenment that you come to see you are not only your name, your history, you are not only a mere body, but you are a soul or consciousness. If you like this video, don't forget to press like, to comment, and if you like to subscribe to my channel, I have tons of other videos like this that you might enjoy. When I was a child, I really loved going to church. I felt so at home with Jesus. I loved Jesus so much. And I listened to the stories of the Bible over and over again. And I wanted to share these stories with everybody, all my friends, because I thought everybody must feel the way I do when I listen to this. Like, I was so moved, you know? and nourished from so deep inside. But I think my friends thought I was a little crazy. <laughs> from when I was a child, I felt like the love of Christ is all that matters, nothing else. My favorite film was the historical filming of the life of Jesus that was based on the four gospels and depicts his life and beautiful message. I never really liked those Hollywood renditions or kind of commercialized renditions of his life because I always felt in the Bible, every word is perfect. Every word is exactly in the right place. Why on earth would you want to change that? So I brought this videotape into school with my 32 or other students and my teacher and I thought everybody, especially my teacher, we would all kind of burst into this expression of awe in front of this incredible love of Jesus Christ, you know? I thought all the differences, all the arguments, everything would just melt away at the sight of this love, you know? an incredible message of forgiveness and acceptance of everybody, you know? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> but of course this didn't happen. Probably two minutes into the movie and half of the class fell asleep. And we probably didn't even finish the film. Okay, this is turning into a love story of Christ. <laughs> but this is really what my life is all about. Anyway, so the religion classes were short and they actually really talked about the love of Christ from the perspective of the heart, which is really where everything comes to life, right? So all the other subjects, I just couldn't relate. Like, I know it's important to learn how to count, how to read and write. But when you feel the love of Christ, the love of God in your heart, what else do you need? And I think this is one of the aspects that come with enlightenment, that you come to see everything the way it is. It's like you are consciousness. So all the histories that have come before, all the histories that are going to happen even, all the things that have happened that are going to happen, they all occur inside of you. 
So in a way, this is the end of seeking more knowledge about anything or seeking anything really, because you are everything. And it's important to say this is not an arrogant way of saying, I am everything. <laughs> it's like this I actually falls away. So there's only things happening. And beyond that, really, there is only love or God or consciousness, you know, so many different ways or, you know, words we can use for that. I felt the way history is taught at school really comes from a material viewpoint. How can you teach something that has happened to some people to someone else? Yes, you can retrieve a date and a name perhaps, but the experience itself, how can you teach that? And isn't that what life is all about? So I always thought all the subjects at school are really removed from what life is actually about. As I got older, I got acquainted with yoga and I soon found myself reading a lot of books on Advaita Vedanta, self-realization like the Upanishads, the Yoga Sutras, the Bhagavad Gita. And it was this incredible moment of recognition. It was something so intimate. I thought, I can't believe it, you know, this is what I was longing for all my life, you know. I felt this was the truth in my heart. But whenever I spoke about these things, people would think I was slightly mad. <laughs> people generally don't talk about these things very much. So finding these things written on these pages, said by other people to be true, that was pretty incredible. And it felt like these pages came just right out of my soul. It was like so intimate, you know? And this was very important because for the first time I saw that it was okay to feel this way. That I'm not Julia. That I'm not a body. It was okay to feel all this love for God in my heart. Because then I got to know Lord Chaitanya, the golden avatar, who is an incarnation of Krishna. And the depiction of his life showed to me that it was okay to cry in ecstasy because of all the love you feel in your heart for God. To choke up even at the thought of his name because it almost feels like it is too much to bear because it is so beautiful. During my 20s, I received all these confirmations by the grace of God. And I was so intrigued that I concerned myself with these things every single day. And then suddenly arose this desire in my heart for a living manifestation of this truth in my time. I know of course that Christ and Krishna are not dead, but I wished for someone in my time to hold me firm in this truth, you know? And shortly after that, I found my first spiritual master. He actually had already passed at that time, I didn't know that. But I started to listen to some of his recordings. And I listened to them over and over again, just like with the tapes of Jesus Christ. And this is another aspect of enlightenment. Words that come directly from the truth, they never grow old. They never become boring or repetitive. You basically can listen to them over and over again. And each time they are completely fresh. And you come to discover different aspects of this truth and you kind of go deeper and deeper. And it kind of never ends. <laughs> Because God and consciousness are infinite, there is no end. Another important aspect of enlightenment is that you come to understand that there is no separation between God and you, between consciousness and who you are. And this is why I love listening to satsangs, which are gatherings of people who talk about this subject. 
because the entire world seems to depict the opposite. It is based on an atheistic worldview, presuming that there is no God, and that life is all about making a lot of money so that you are able to pay your mortgage and all the many other bills in your life. There is not much space for anything else, right? So in these satsangs to hear the spiritual master say, and spiritual master really is also a manifestation of consciousness, which is also what you are. So to hear them say, it might seem like that on the surface, but underneath it all, it is all held by God. In fact, there is only God. There is nothing else but God. Dust is so important to me. So if I say there is only God or only consciousness, it seems I can't really make a video on my story of enlightenment. Because ultimately there is no story to tell. And there is no separate I even. But I do think there is some value in talking in this way, of course. And I mean this in the most positive way. While it seems on the surface that we go through all these experiences of suffering, of joy, of hope, of disappointment, of longing, of fearing, and they all seem so different and variegated on the surface. But ultimately the conclusion is the same for everyone. To find this beautiful truth that there is only God and that all will be fine. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to stop here for now. But maybe I will talk about some other aspects of enlightenment in my coming videos and my own direct experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like, comment, and if you like, subscribe to my channel. All my love to you. Bye.